Hey, uh, by the way, my, uh, my, my phone runs Arch. <laughs> I have been distro hopping on this phone like an absolute madman, and I might as well show you all how to do it because it's actually really, really easy, but it did take me a little bit just to make sure I wasn't going to do something wrong. So in this video, I'm going to show you everything you need, everything you need to do, and well, just the process to uh, get it done. So the primary reason I am jumping around distribution so much on this phone is because I'm trying to figure out which ones are good because I'm preparing to do a full dedicated review over every single aspect of this phone. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss that. And in addition, I did an unboxing and first impressions a couple days ago, so make sure you check out that video. But getting to the subject at hand, actually putting a new distribution on this phone. You saw I'm running Arch, and next I want to test out OpenSUSE on this phone, because I mean, or OpenSUSE, who does not want OpenSUSE in their pocket? Now, to get your images to flash, you're going to want to go to this page right here. This is the Pine Phone software releases. And here you have a full list of all of the different possible releases that you can go ahead and install on your phone. This is what's on, currently on my phone, the Arch Linux ARM software, and um, it's, it's running pretty good. It's a lot more uh, fluid than the Manjaro one. It's a better experience so far. Um, I've tried out a couple other ones. I've tried out the Ubuntu Touch, which is another one that's really, really good. In my initial impression video, I was showing the Mobian, which that was, it's not too great quite yet. It's it's a good project, but as far as usability, it's not quite there. But we're going to be flashing the OpenSUSE one. So you can see there's a lot. This is OpenSUSE right here. Now before you actually get the image, you're going to want to actually make it so you can install the image on the phone. And the best way to do that is using Jump Drive. This is software from Pine64. And what you're going to be doing is installing it on a micro SD card just like this one right here obviously you're gonna need this micro SD and you're gonna need a way to plug it into your computer whether if you just use one of these little adapter things or you have a little utility like this in which you could plug the little micro SD right into this and plug it into your computer as if it is a USB drive so I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick just like that and we see it pop up on my screen right there so first things first, we're going to want to go ahead and download the image. You see a couple here under assets. You see Pine64, Pine Phone, Pine Tab, and a couple other ones. This is the Pine Phone, so we're going to want to go with this one. Obviously, if you have the Pine Tab, you'd want to go with this one right here. Go ahead and click on that. And here, you're going to want to go ahead and save the file, just like that. Completed. You see it's one because I already have it downloaded. And then when it is downloaded, so far, I've noticed the very best way to do this is using Etcher. So in Etcher, you just want to go ahead and flash from file, select the actual image. So I'm going to go over to my downloads and then select the image we downloaded, which was the Pine64, pinephone.img.xz. Go ahead and select that, click open, and now you're going to want to select target and make sure you select the micro SIM, not micro SIM, the micro SD card you put in there. If you see hidden, these are all your other drives. You do not want to try to flash this image to one of your primary drives on your computer. So select that little micro SD card, hit select, and then flash. Uh, when that, when you do that, it's gonna ask you for your password, type that. We saw that this was about five megabytes, so it is done. And then when it is done, we can go ahead and unplug this from our machine, pull, pull it out, and we're gonna go ahead and put this into our phone. One really beautiful thing about this phone that I really do miss with modern phones today is this. You just simply pop the back off and you have access to just about everything, including the battery, so there's interchangeable batteries, and your micro SD and SIM card slot here. To put this in, we're going to have to take out, actually we might not have to take out, I've been taking out my battery, but we might not need to. So you're just going to want to go ahead and slide that into the top slot there. Uh, you're going to want to be careful because I was trying to slide it into the SIM card slot because I am not the brightest individual in the world. But when you do have it in there, it should look something like that. But now all you need to do is power off the device so you see it's on. Uh, for me, the easiest way to power it off, pop out the battery real quick, go ahead and pop it back in. And then when you go ahead and plug it into the computer that you're going to be flashing it from, you will see the Pine logo that looks like this with an image of the phone plugged in, and right there you can see it says jump drive is running. 
basically what this does is it recognizes the internal storage on your phone as a drive that you can flash things to. So on Etcher, if I go ahead and click flash another, remove, well, we need to go grab our image. So let's go back into our web browser, go over here, and I said I wanted to try out the OpenSUSE. So I'm gonna go over to stable images, and then I'm gonna go ahead and select the latest stable image which you can see right here, build 16.02. It is a larger file size. If it's one of these ones, it's obviously not gonna be it. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this one, save the file, hit okay. And it shouldn't take too long to download at all. There we go, it has completed. So we're gonna go ahead and minimize this, go to flash from file, go over to our downloads, and right here you see OpenSUSE Tumbleweed Arm Posh Pine Phone. We're gonna go ahead and select this, hit open, Select the target, now this is important. Right here, the eMMC is your internal storage. So we're gonna go ahead and flash the OpenSUSE image to our internal storage. Select that, hit flash. Once again, we're gonna type in our password. And this is gonna take a little bit longer than the uh, jump drive image took. So the device has completed the flashing process. So what we're gonna do is go ahead, I'm gonna remove the battery real quick and then uh, unplug it so it disconnects the power. Remove this little micro SIM here. I'm gonna pop my battery back in and boot up the phone. I'm gonna plug it in so it charges too. And when you do go ahead and plug it in, it should actually just automatically turn it on. So let's see if we have a successful install of OpenSUSE on this Pine64 Pine phone. There we go, OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. It is looking so far so good. All right, we are in. One thing when you do flash these images, uh, a lot of the times the passwords and stuff are already set up. So we're gonna go ahead, go over here, and you can see the username and password login credentials. By default, you could obviously change this, but the default to get in is Pine, and then one, two, three, and four. So one, two, three, and four. I'll go ahead and show you this logging in here and we're gonna go ahead and log in and we can see we have the welcome screen so we could go ahead and walk through and install this well at least finish the setup process so far with this one it's not too laggy at all connecting to the uh, wi-fi right now all right so there we go it doesn't look too different than what most of them look like right out of the gate um it's it is a lot smoother than uh mobian that's for sure if I go ahead and go to settings, you can see the OpenSUSE logo when it's loading. I'll go ahead and go down to about and show you. It has the uh, the Tumbleweed logo there, OpenSUSE, all my phone's information, and we're good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and play around with this. I do hope this helped you out if you have a Pine phone and you're looking to try out different uh, Linux images on your Pine phone. This was the guide for you. Other than that, I really want to say thank you to my Patreon subscribers. You all are awesome. Uh, if you'd like to become a Patreon supporter, there will be a link in the description. If not, like always, a simple like on this video, uh, subscribing so you don't miss future content, and leaving a comment down below with what all these images, which one are you the most interested? If enough of you leave a comment about a certain one, I'll go ahead and do a full walkthrough of that specific image and if you want to see the list of images that you can see on the screen now there will be a link in the description as well as to everything else you've seen in this video so with that said i hope you have an absolutely beautiful day and goodbye